if you've been using actives for long without protecting your skin barrier here is a sign that you need to take a break from those actives and focus on hydrating your skin and repairing your skin barrier trust me your skin is going to thank you so it's been over a month since i post using any actives so for a month now i've not used any glycolic acid or any retinol or salicylic acid I've kept my routine as simple as possible focusing on only products that will hydrate my skin and repair my skin barrier and my skin has been thriving like can you look at that glow now your skin talks the best thing you're going to do for your skin is to listen to it when it talks so when your skin starts to feel tight excessively dry especially if you have an oily skin easily irritated sensitive when you don't even have a sensitive skin that is your skin talking it is telling you that it needs a break it is telling you that it is overwhelmed from all the actives you're using i experienced all these things when my skin barrier got compromised and in this video i'll be showing you a routine that has really helped me first off there are certain ingredients you need to look out for and incorporate in your skincare routine i'll be placing them on the screen so right now i'm just washing my face using my gentle cleanser i use the face fat hydrating cleanser it contains five ceramides hyaluronic acid and oats if you can't get this exact cleanser here are some other alternatives on the screen after washing my face for 60 seconds i allow it to air dry and then i went in with my second product which is my toner guys i think i have been sleeping on toners or is it just this particular toner this particular product has been life changing i really never used to fancy using toners but this has changed my mindset one good thing about toners is that they help to balance your skin ph let's say you are using a cleanser or something that can um disrupt your skin's ph which can result to weakening your skin barrier leading to dryness increase in sensitivity or increase in oil production toners are formulated to be slightly acidic so this is how they help so they help to bring your skin ph back to how it was so if you're using a soap like the koji sun lightning soap that is quite harsh you need to make sure you're using a toner to balance your skin's ph so that you don't end up with a compromised or a damaged skin barrier like me learn from my mistakes this particular toner contains licorice extract so it balances your skin's ph it brightens your skin and it hydrates your skin you see that hydration this is one thing i love about this product this product just brings out that instant glow to your skin it immediately makes your skin come alive so i'm just sweeping this product into my skin using a cotton pad one more thing i forgot to mention um toners also help your other skincare products penetrate into your skin making them more effective now after that has been fully absorbed into my skin i'm going in with my next product this is the face fact ceramide serum now if you have an essence or hyaluronic acid serum you can use that but well, this is what i am using ceramide is one essential ingredient you need to incorporate in your skincare routine if you want to maintain a healthy skin barrier i'm using this one from face facts this is quite affordable this is the cheapest product in this routine i think i got this for three five this would help to protect your skin hydrate your skin and soothe your skin i let that absorb into my skin very well before going in with my next product this is my niacinamide serum from balance active now i decided not to use a niacinamide serum that contains tyrosine inhibitors like alpha butene or tranexamic acid i just wanted to go for a pure niacinamide serum and this was the perfect choice this contains 15 percent niacinamide niacinamide is one ingredient that will help with your skin barrier it is also an antioxidant that protects your skin from free radicals it hydrates your skin it soothes your skin it controls oil production so this is good for people with oily skin i apply this on my whole face and as you can see my face is looking very very glowy this balanced active niacinamide serum is exactly who it thinks it is so guys if you've watched this video to this point don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my youtube channel and drop your thoughts in the comment section i'll be waiting to see them speaking of comment section i have a video that went viral with over 170 
thousand subscribers and some people came for my head and my neck in fact my whole body i'm going to share the thumbnail on the screen in case you've forgotten i got accused of using filters some even accused me of applying foundation the bottom line was that um they accused me of faking my results claimed my skin wasn't as clear as i was claiming honestly speaking i see it as ignorance because let me tell you for a fact skincare works just know the right products to use and know how to use them trust me you're going to get your results be consistent also but i can boldly tell you guys right now this is my skin no filters there is no foundation i'm barely even on makeup anyways i'm not going to talk too much who won't believe go believe who no one believe kwano making liver <laughs> all right i got carried away so this is me applying my moisturizer i recently started using this moisturizer and i'm loving it especially for this dry weather i've always used the simple hydrating light moisturizer but i noticed that one wasn't really doing much for me especially during this period look at that bounce <laughs> my skin feels so guys, really usually plum. during the day i will not go in with my moisturizer but the weather is very very dry and i need lots of moisture on my skin because i've noticed that my skin has been getting dry these days because of how dry the weather is so that is why i went in with my moisturizer before going in with my sunscreen usually i will just go in with my sunscreen after using my serums just to save my moisturizer that is what i do during normal weather when the weather is hot especially so it's time for the last step and the most important step in your routine if your skin barrier has been damaged or compromised sunscreen should be your best friend i don't know if it's just me but i've noticed that this skin aqua sunscreen this new version is watery it feels more watery than the old version is it just me if you've noticed the difference in the texture please let me know in the comment section so that i will not feel alone anyways this is the skin aqua sunscreen my fave if you noticed earlier i followed the three finger rule take your sunscreen apply on three fingers and you've gotten yourself the adequate sunscreen you need for your face you know also is skin aqua sunscreen it doesn't sting the eye i almost forgot i thought i was using the hatsumi sunscreen it doesn't sting the eye so feel free to apply it on your eye area because it will not sting you so i'm just going to allow that the sunscreen leaves no white casts it doesn't sting the eye it is water and sweat resistant and it is a broad spectrum sunscreen i love it so after blending this is what my face looks like this dry weather got nothing absolutely nothing on me <laughs> so guys this is what my routine looks like currently your skincare routine has to change to align with the current weather so if the weather is hot or humid you need to incorporate lightweight products products that will not make you sweat same thing goes to during the dry weather like this opt for hydrating or moisturizing products because this weather can suck up all the moisture on your skin so make sure that you are replenishing the lost moisture by hydrating your skin so guys if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my youtube channel please get me to 5k subscribers before this year runs out and until i see you on my next one have a wonderful day Bye and thanks for watching.